This Civic Media Podcast is sponsored by UW Organ and Tissue Donation. Organ donations are desperately needed, and now is the right time to become an organ donor. Talk to your family. Get the dot. Save lives. Go to HeroicDeed.com. This is your WLCX Daily News Roundup for the Eagle 1490 AM in La Crosse. For AM 1490 WLCX, I'm Jimmy Kuska. On Monday, the state's Supreme Court heard oral arguments over Wisconsin's abortion ban that was enacted in 1849. The ban went into effect once the U.S. Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade. The case that the state Supreme Court debated yesterday for over two hours was a ruling by a Dane County judge that the ban only applied to feticide, not consensual abortion. The court is also considering a separate case over whether there is a constitutional right to abortion in Wisconsin. State Superintendent Jill Underly announced a budget request for over $3 billion on Monday. With more, here's Civic Media's Derek Tritz. Wisconsin's public schools have experienced a decade of increasing financial constraints due to underfunding from the state. The proposal advocates for raising revenue limits for schools based on inflation. Nearly half of Wisconsin's school districts have gone to referendum this year, many of them just to stay afloat. Meanwhile, Wisconsin currently has a $4.6 billion budget surplus. Underly says this would help students, staff, and schools without forcing taxes to skyrocket. My budget proposal allows school funding to catch up to where it needs to be. The first step is simply increase these limits, and then we provide enough state funding to limit property taxes from rising too much. The DPI's overall budget request is slated to be released in full later this month. Most of the request is in the form of special education reimbursement for public schools. Tonight, the La Crosse County Board will hold a public hearing on a proposed budget of just over $200 million. The budget would give county staff a 3% raise and add professional development opportunities. In addition to those changes for employees, the county would provide a record high maintenance budget to help improve road conditions. The county board will vote on the new budget tonight with public comment to be held ahead of the vote. You can see the proposed budget at lacrossecounty.org. This year's election fell within the margin of error for the Marquette University Law School poll. With more, here's Civic Media's Stuart J. Waddles. They didn't miss it by much. Those that run the Marquette Law School poll are reporting a margin of error of 1.9 points for the 2024 presidential race. The pollsters were closer in the Senate race, off 1.1 point. A statement says the performance is consistent with the poll's long-term average error of two points. Donald Trump and Tammy Baldwin won the election for president and U.S. Senate, respectively, in Wisconsin. La Crosse County officials certify the results of last week's election last night. Canvassers counted over 72,000 ballots in the county where ballots totaled about 98% of registered voters. The canvas showed that polling places accurately matched the number of total ballots cast a week ago and that the county saw nothing unusual. In a statement, county officials said that the canvas showed that people can trust that local elections are safe and that every vote gets counted. Wisconsin is receiving a share of an opioid settlement. With more, here's Civic Media's Stuart J. Waddles. The state is getting about $22 million from Kroger in a settlement over the opioid crisis. Kroger has agreed to pay $1.3 billion in the settlement. The new agreement brings Wisconsin's total expected opioid settlement funds to more than $780 million. As part of the agreement, Kroger says they'll implement new measures to monitor prescriptions. Wisconsin Attorney General Josh Call made the settlement announcement yesterday. A man was rescued in Buffalo County yesterday. The sheriff's office said that a hunter hurt his leg climbing a tree in the Tiffany Wildlife area and needed to be taken to a hospital. Rescue crews spent two hours searching for him before finding him. According to the sheriff's office, the 32-year-old Louisiana man wasn't able to walk because of his injury and told dispatchers he needed medical assistance. He was taken to a hospital in Eau Claire with non-life-threatening injuries. You can take Civic Media with you anywhere you go. Download the free Civic Media app on your device's app store or at civicmedia.com. US slash app. From the Western Wisconsin Civic Media Newsroom, I'm Jimmy Kuska for AM 1490 WLCX and lacrosseeagle.com. It's award season in the MLB. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kuska filling in for Mike Clemens for Civic Media Sports. Milwaukee Brewers manager Pat Murphy and rookie standout Jackson Churio are up for some hardware. Murphy was named as one of three finalists for the National League Manager of the Year. The other finalists are San Diego's Mike Schilt and New York's Carlos Mendoza. Churio is up for Rookie of the Year along with Paul Skeens of Pittsburgh and Jackson Merrill of San Diego. The awards will be announced next week. Tonight, the 2-8 and eight Bucks take on the 2-9 and nine Toronto Raptors who own the NBA's worst record. Damian Lillard says the Bucks are worth Working hard to get back on track. I mean, you want to win, especially a situation that we in where you want to win games, you want to protect your home floor. 
we came out and, you know, we had control of the game. You know, we just got to be able to sustain what we were doing and understand what we did well um, and not have lapses and let-ups and give teams life. Doc Rivers says the Bucks are working to turn things around. Well, we just got to dig ourselves out of this hole that we're, we're creating. We created it, all of us, me, them, uh, together. Um, I have no doubt we will, uh, but it's not one night. We had a one tonight. We still weren't going to be in the hole. You know, uh, we have to play ourselves out of this hole. The losing team tonight will have the NBA's worst record. Tip-off is at 7 p.m. at Pfizer Forum. This Saturday, the Wisconsin Badgers will host the undefeated Oregon Ducks at Camp Randall Stadium. Coach Luke Fickle says the bye week helped them in preparing for the big game. You know, the whole idea of get it to the fourth quarter and put ourselves in a position where we feel like we can excel and, and, and execute in the fourth. So that's difficult when, when your plan kind of falls into place and those guys recognize it and then you're not able to finish the plan and execute the plan. We know that, but that's where we've got to make sure that we got to go back to what it is that we do and continue to climb this mountain um, to get better. Kickoff is at 6.30 p.m. Saturday. The Badgers are 5-4 and four and need a win over their final three games in order to become bowl eligible. For Civic Media Sports, I'm Jimmy Kuska. Mostly sunny today. It will become a little breezy by late this afternoon and especially into this evening. Our high today in the upper 40s to near 50. Tonight, partly cloudy, breezy in the mid to upper 30s. Tomorrow, cloudy with scattered rain. And a high in the mid to upper 40s. I'm meteorologist Sean Cable. Outside now, it's 33. That's your WLCX Daily News Roundup from Civic Media. Subscribe to this podcast on Spotify, Apple, or wherever you find your podcasts. Find more news at lacrosseagle.com. The national news cycle never stops, but it can be hard to find news about your local community. Civic Media is dedicated to providing quality local and state news coverage across Wisconsin. With the Civic Media app, you can get notifications about local stories that matter to you and your community. Find the free Civic Media app in your phone's app store and choose notifications from the menu to tell us what kind of news you want to hear about.